So this AMC stock just broke all time highs, record highs, made new highs, however you wanna call it, and it's definitely worth talking about here. And welcome to another video, my friends, in case you're new here, my name is Bijan, and we're just basically gonna talk about this AMC and what it could potentially mean moving forward with the fact that it just broke all time highs here. So I'm gonna bring you guys over to the chart here, and the first thing that I wanna point out is how it just shot straight through this 20 area and it literally never looked back. That's the first sign right there. Then the second sign is how it broke all time highs today. 35 was the level of the, it's, that it's high, the highest point that it said it had ever been. I'm getting all tongue tied just trying to say this here, but the highest point it had ever been in its entire existence here was 35 all the way back here in 2015. So that's the first guide that we have to look at because if it's gonna go up, it's gonna go up to that level and then stop there first before it does anything else. And that's exactly what it did last week. Now, I didn't want to talk about it last week because of the fact that it just kind of like got above it and it kind of stalled out like a, you're starting a car and you know, it starts up and then it kind of dies back out on you. It's like, all right, we'll kind of like, you know, assess the situation, come back at another time. But now I want to talk about it because of the fact that it broke all time highs and it held above it. I even wanted to make the video at the end of the day today, but the way that everything's popping off, I said, well, I might as well just make it right now. I was going to say it can easily hit 50 but it already hit 50. So now I'm like, all right, let me just make the video now and talk about where I see it could possibly go. And the first thing that we need to consider is all the other kind of buying that can come in here. This is, you know, you, you've got to look at it from a perspective of saying, okay, we got this whole short squeeze play going on. And I don't want to spend too much time talking about that short squeeze play. I just want to talk about how AMC broke all time highs and what that could mean moving forward. The short squeeze and all that idea, all that details, I, I'll talk about that in another video and I'll put that link in the description for this one if you wanna get all the detailed breakdowns of what's going on here. But now that we've broke this 35 area, that's where things are gonna start getting interesting in terms of short squeezes, but also you have to consider all the other kinds of squeezes, the FOMO buying, all the other kind of like hedge funds and companies that could be buying and all of that. I don't want to make it sound like this is the end of the road here, and I personally think that the way this is going, it can very easily hit 100. Honestly, I think it can hit 150, 200 very easily as well, potentially up to 300, but I don't see it making a bigger move than what GameStop did. Now, we got to look back at GameStop and see that GameStop shot all the way up to 483. Now, with that being said, it had a previous high of 63. Now, I'm not saying that this correlates exactly the same, saying like, okay, this went from 63 to 483, and the other one was 35, so it's gonna go up you know, at a certain ratio. It doesn't exactly work like that, but I'm saying just have that perspective in the back of your mind moving forward now with this AMC and realize that it could have that same potential to make that big of a move. Now, consider this. It could also make even bigger of a move because of the fact that GameStop was interrupted by the Robin Hood and all the other platforms kind of stepping in and stopping people from buying the GameStop at that time. Now, I'm not saying that won't happen here. It very well could, but it doesn't seem like it's happened yet, at least not from what I know or any platforms that I'm on. So keep that in mind. If GameStop went to 400, 500 with interference, what could this AMC do? It's worth at least giving it the consideration. Now, I'm not in AMC because I completely missed the move, and every time I tried to catch it, I, I maybe I got a little greedy. I wanted to get a, a better dip, and I didn't get that dip. If we do get a dip, I'll definitely be buying in probably myself around the 15 or 20 area if we even get that. But the good thing about this is that it can make that move and still go back up. Consider this as well looking at GameStop. GameStop shot from basically nothing all the way to 400, but it's still up at 270. It's still higher than all this stuff going on over here. So I'm just trying to say, I'm looking at AMC from that same perspective, that if we can get a dip to maybe the 10 or the 20 area, I'm definitely gonna be in at that point, but I'm not in right now, and I don't want anyone thinking I'm making this video because I want it to go up or anything like that. I just wanna talk about, this is unheard of. I mean, it, it's, it's very, very rare for stocks to make new highs and all that. And I want to kind of highlight this so that you guys can have a little bit of a better guide of where it might go. You know, once it broke this all time highs, there's nothing but air. I mean, it, it can shoot up exponentially. That's why it took a little bit of a while to go to that area and get above it. And then suddenly once it broke that area, it literally doubled in price within a few hours. It can still double in price again. 
Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen within a few hours. It definitely could. Who knows? By the time the market closes, we could be at 100 or over 100, but we could also be back down to 20. Anything is possible, so make sure that if you get into this, you're getting into it with the right mindset and the proper risk. Don't get into it thinking you're going to get into it right now and you know just instantly become a millionaire. Or also consider the fact that whatever you put into it can very easily cut in half on you. And you have to be willing and able to stomach that loss. I just want to put that idea out there in case you're going to get into it that you're aware of all the different perspectives of it. Now, I personally am not trying to short this at all, like no questions asked. Once it shot through that 20 area the way that it did, I, that, that's when I flipped the script from saying like even considering shorting it, don't even do it. Even if it gives a good setup, it's not even on my radar anymore for a short play, especially the way it broke highs here, all time highs. When you break all time highs, I call it nothing but air. There, again, there's no resistance, nothing to weigh you down. Imagine a balloon that's held by a kid. As soon as that kid lets that balloon go, there's no telling how high it can go. I mean, obviously, you know, you can bring science into it and say, well, the helium can do this and it'll only go so high, but it's like, come on guys, bear with me here. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm trying to give you guys like a little bit of a reasonable example here. That's what's going on. So the kid let go of the balloon. There's nothing but air, we're going up, you know? So that's my idea here that I kind of wanted to talk about, but also be aware of the volatility. I mean, he shot up all the way to 62 and shot right back down to 50 here. So make sure that if you even get into it, that you're willing and aware of the big swings that could come. And if you're not able to stomach that kind of a loss or if you don't have the emotional control for that, then hey, it's still worth watching and enjoying the show because these are definitely unprecedented or whatever the word is, exciting, record-setting times. And it's just, it's what a time to be alive. And all of this really mainly started because of Reddit and the Reddit people trying to like form a band together to target these companies that have shorted these things because they want a short squeeze to happen. And I mean, it looks like they're getting what they wanted. I mean, they're like, it, you gotta look at it from their perspective. They're kind of fighting a war here and it's more than just money to them. It's personal because they're trying to bring down some of these hedge funds as well. Not everybody is just trying to become a millionaire through this. So they don't mind sticking it out. They don't mind buying even higher. The people that bought low don't mind buying higher because to them, it's like they're working towards a mission, towards a goal. They want to get this stock price to a certain level so that it can trigger a short squeeze and go higher, potentially what it just did here, and even go higher and higher. So I'm not, I, I don't wanna fight these guys. That's why I'm saying I'm perfectly fine with shorting stocks here, getting puts there, but not on this one. I'm sitting it out on the short side. If we get a big dip, I might be a buyer, but it's just very exciting times and something to be aware of and just something to observe and watch. And don't underestimate all these kids on Reddit that are putting all this money in, especially if a new stimulus check and all that comes out, that's, that's just gonna add even more fuel to this fire. And I just wanna take it back one more time to the GameStop and show you guys this idea. I played AMC back when all this GameStop stuff was happening. Now it flipped the script. You see GameStop, GameStop made a very wild move. And now it's just kind of making a very calm, wild move. Look at AMC here. Back in the day, AMC made a very calm, wild move. And now AMC is making the wild, wild move. So looking back at GameStop, same thing. It's just the flip side. Wild, wild move, calm, wild move. Calm, wild move, wild, wild move. So it's AMC's time. Uh, I guess a, a, a dry joke would be enjoy the show. No? I don't know. I guess that's a good point for me to end it on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just be aware of what's going on. And just, I guess it's also, you know, you got to look at the other side too. It's unfair to call it a war and just look at one side of the perspective. You also have to consider that these hedge funds could also renegotiate their terms or they can, it, my point is anything's possible. Who knows? Maybe Robinhood is going to step in and help them out again as well. Um, I just want to make sure that you guys are looking at all sides of the spectrum here. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, if you could, just please, if you stayed till this point, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notifications. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, the, just the rest of your night. Just have a great rest of your life and I'll talk to you guys soon.